for the Q&A, which is the last real thing about World of Warcraft at BlizzCon, you know, that has anything to do with the uh, new content or really anything like that. I, I gathered the questions from the Q&A that I liked, looked them up, and uh, just going to share with you the answers and stuff and just discuss it here. So, anyways, um, first off, Flying. Flying was asked in the Q&A, um, what, what are they planning to do? How quick are we getting flying? So, their answer was about the same time it took Legion to get flying. Which was quite a long time from the, the release of Legion. Because um, they want you to explore on ground and have every little detail about the new expansion found out on ground. And then you'll be able to fly. Which, okay. Obviously we have the new zones. Cult of Ross and uh, Zoldar. But a lot of the content seems like it will take place in both Azeroth and Kalimdor. So... Even though you won't be able to fly in the new continents, you'll still be able to fly, I imagine, in the old continents that you can fly in right now. Like, obviously, I'm flying in... Well, I ain't gonna mount up here, but... I can fly in Eastern Kingdoms. Nothing wrong with it. And, uh, I assume that will still be the case. And if, um... Uh, all of this area is gonna be Alliance... Well, not all the way up here, but all this should be Alliance. And then all of this should be Horde. And I imagine you'll be able to fly in those zones. Just won't be able to fly in your two new continents. Now. Uh, that was a big thing. They didn't really specify if it was going to take an achievement or not. I assume it probably will. They seem to like that style where you have to earn your flying. They like it to be a reward. A rewarding experience. Uh, I know a lot of people just wish they could buy it. I'm I'm no lifer, so I you know it's not fair for me to talk, but I like the achievement route because uh, it gives me something to do, right? But people that are really busy sometimes struggle to do the achievement route. So yeah, I, I think it would be better if there's like a middle ground, like an option that's pretty expensive and you could buy it if you wanted to, or an option where you can achievement route it. That would be a variable and then in the end I would end up buying it because you know I want it as fast as possible but I don't really know how they can fix that and suit both groups you know because I know there are people that enjoy the achievement I'm I'm fairly indifferent I think it's cool there's an achievement but otherwise no I don't care either way ah, another question the leveling armor so I'll toss a picture up here on the screen you you know what I'm talking about, the new sub-races and all their special fancy armor. That armor is unique to that class, or that character. You know, it's not count wide or anything. Only that character in that race can wear it. So, if you wanted to get that transmog armor on another character, so you just decided to level X class for that transmog, rip it doesn't work like that you don't actually get to use that account wide that's i i mean i kind of make sense that it's only specific to that race but at the same time i would have thought it would have been cool if that armor was account wide this is a big one <laughs> it's been long enough but if you have an authenticator on our account they're gonna increase the backpack size so your base backpack size right here they have an intention of increasing it. It only took them all this time. I mean, we've been running with the 16-slot backpack for, uh, oh, gosh, how, knows how long, right? It's been so the beginning of, well, you know, 16-slot backpack. It's been our life. And, uh, yeah, they're intending to increase it. They said slightly, so I'm guessing maybe 20 to 24 slots. I don't think they're going to give us a big old 30-slot backpack. It'd be nice, but I don't think they'll do it. So, uh. 20 to 24 my estimation but I know that's that's gonna make a lot of people happy the backpack always there should have been upgrades every expansion anyway you had to maybe pay for it or just do something to upgrade it there should have been but yeah uh, another one suggested was time walking keystones I'm a big keystone fan I like the keystone so I'm a big fan of this um, they said maybe it's a possibility that when a time walking event occurs, you can do, because obviously the heroics for time walking right now are fairly face roll. You don't really have to do any kind of effort to get through a heroic. And, uh, 
It takes like, you know, 10 minutes per heroic, if that. I literally go in, pull everything, and we're done. That's it. It was even better when before they nerfed um, armor sets and stuff, but... Oh well, it's not that bad at the end of the day. Uh, time walking Keystone, though, they said it's a possibility. Make it fun. I guess that would be engaging. I would like it a lot, I think. But, yeah, what do you think about that? Time walking Keystone. Now, as for cosmetic appearances of certain things, let's just log out real quick here. Because they're finally working on what they said to be updated worgen models. That's right, you may not have to look at your female worgen and be shocked every time you uh, decide to play it. They are working on updated worgen models, updated goblin models. They're in the process of doing it. They didn't give an ETA on when it's gonna happen, but they are actually doing it because, um, you know, everybody's like, man, look at all these updates they're giving to every other, every, every other person. And we've been waiting for these Goblin and Worgen models since they released, so... I, I know, but they said that they are doing it. Hopefully that gives you some hope. GMH, right? Uh, also in cosmetic appearances, let's just find here. I think we got an orc over here, at least one. Let's go over to him. They're gonna make it so, uh... Good old orcs can have posture setting so you're not gonna have just a hunchback orcs forever when you go into your character creation here da 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 orc male you'll be able to straighten out their back which um I think this is in response to the fact that the Zandalar trolls are not hunched over they're standing tall when they're actually appearing so yeah I think that they're going to do the same with orcs, allowing them to stand up straight for once in their life. Very nice. I think a lot of people enjoy that. Void elves. So, the void elf appearance. Um, much like a blood elf, I guess. But, a void elf appearance. You'll be able to toggle off void form. Like, it will only happen in combat, they said. Or, their void form is a combat setting. Um... And it immediately appears, but they said they may make it so you can keep Void Farm off permanently, which means you'll basically have an Alliance version of Blood Elf. Uh -huh, not too bad there. And the last really big thing is your 12 character limit is not going to be 12 characters anymore. It's going to be 18 because they're adding six new races essentially, so they're going to give you six more slots to ensure that no matter what world you're on, you can have every single race and stuff. Which works out for the best, right? That's what people want to see. Anyways, that's uh, really about it in terms of things that I found interesting. There's, of course, many more questions and answers. Like, another one was about Warfronts. It was just asking about the rewards from Warfronts, and they said... Uh, it's generally PvE rewards for the time being, which makes sense. It's P Warfronts are PvE content, but, you know, I didn't care what the rewards are. I just want to participate in Warfronts because it sounds fun. <laughs> so, uh, that's really it, though. Thank you for watching. I hope these questions may have uh, gave you something to think about. If you have any of your own questions, drop them down below. If I got the answer, I'll give it to you. So thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again real soon. Bye bye